face it. We got a health crisis. People are not exercising, people are not in shape. We've got an environmental crisis. We are strangling and suffocating ourselves. And we've got an economic crisis. And the only way we're going to get out of those is through innovative technology that is going to be in a situation that allows us to use the creative juices to build a new economy, a sustainable economy, to create the jobs that's necessary to fuel it, necessary to drive that train, and when that's all in place, then we sit back and we party at club and over. Right, right. Picking up on you know, your, your previous history in basketball, our questions are very kind of on the surface sports, sports theme, what? but I think it's more about the words of wisdom that you bring from your own past, and I'd love to see you know how you might answer them. And you don't have to necessarily answer them from a sports perspective, but they're written from a sports perspective. So, first question is, how many hoops have you been through? I mean, you take enough. that from me. All I ever wanted in life was to I started playing ball when I was eight years old. I played until I could not walk. I crawled off the court the last time. I had to go to a hard line phone and get more cell phones and call my friend and ask him to come over and find my crutches so that I couldn't take another step. But I realized quickly thereafter that that was just another hoop to jump through. That was maybe the greatest lesson, is that all, all the hoops are the same. Some of them are easier to jump through, some of them are smaller. But you still gotta go through them. And it's when you stop going through them, it's when you stop chasing them down, that you're dead. You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep attacking. You have to keep dreaming. You keep thinking. Because the ultimate champions, whether it's in basketball or broadcasting, in the consumer electronic business, the ultimate winners are the smartest guys. The ones who train their minds. The ones who know how to dream, know how to think, how to analyze, how to create, how to build, how to make adjustments. And when you realize that it's all the same, whether it's hitting a game winning jumper, blocking the attempt on the other team, whether it's coming up with the perfect ball, the great moment, or whether it's coming up with that new killer app or a new technology or, or a new dream that people can turn in to useful stuff, then it all works and it keeps going. And we can have a world that we are proud to give to our children. Excellent answer. Next question, what of all the challenges and hoops you've gone through, what has been your personal favorite? And I know it's probably uh, tough to pinpoint one thing, but if there's maybe a milestone or a, uh, a plateau. Or, My you know, favorite one is this Doug Lenovo here. Okay. Because this is the one I thought I would never get to. I'm currently 11 months into a recovery from a spinal fusion surgery. And I didn't think I was going to make it. I was on the floor. I was on the edge of the bridge. And I didn't think I was going to make it. And to be here, just 11 months, not being able to move. Not being able to think, not being able to sleep, get up and down, not being able to do anything other than just hope and pray through the tears that the pain would go away. And now to be here at Club Lenovo, it is a miracle. And I am the luckiest guy on earth. That's great. Last one. If there was a hoop that you wanted to redo, what would it have been? I want to redo a lot of things. Lost a lot of games. Made a lot of mistakes. For him. Man. But your biggest failures in life. Are from, are from lack 
lack of proper preparation. Games, issues, battles, are won and lost before they start. With what kind of preparation you do. Sadly, by the time you realize that, it's too late. And that's why you're always looking for that next game. And I'm glad to be back in this one. <laughs> love, love Lenovo. Time to spark it up again. Right. Alright. No wall. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Technoglobia, CES 2010. Noble party, fantastic with Mr. Bill Walton.